I think we lost our souls around the black bear and the hunting and getting value out of the wilderness. I'm not willing to give that up. You know, I want to be out here in the woods, enjoying our history. I want to be what my ancestors were and enjoy the things they enjoyed. And that's what we're doing here. I'm Josh Fralick and I'm a hunter. And today we're getting ready for a black bear hunt. Here in Minnesota, we bait black bear. Today we're hanging stands. We're getting our shooting positions all figured out. Baiting bears is not easy. It's work every single day. Absolutely making sure the details are right in line. So when it's time to hunt, we can hunt. We try to set a black bear up on pattern. They're getting ready for hibernation, and so we give them healthy stuff like peanuts and walnuts and apples and peanut butter and all the kinds of stuff that you'd want to eat, right? Uh, if you were a big old black bear. If you've uh, not baited bears, uh, understand that it takes me about 45 minutes a day for about three weeks before season starts. Last year, I hunted seven days straight, 37 hours in seven days before I got my bear. We've still got great woods out here in Minnesota. I'm in the river valley and it is wild enough. But because of suburbia, because of urban sprawl, we've got folks moving further and further and further out. And where do you think those bears go? They go here, okay? And what that means is this 150 acre farm, not a huge farm, uh, for a hunting property. I think six to eight bears is probably something pretty reasonable for our area. We've got 13, 13 unique bears on cameras, on baits in just a week and a half. It, it's our job to manage populations successfully, effectively, to make sure that uh, we keep them in check. And that's at all species. There's a bear. That's the one I shot. It was hanging around every day last year and it would, sometimes I get these creepy pictures of it just kind of sitting there. I'm like, is it waiting for me? <laughs> so we had a quiet night yesterday. I don't have any pictures, but so let's just, uh, we'll just grab Zeus. Um, you know, he's got a belly hanging down there. He's 450 to 500 pounds. That's the target bear. That's the guy we're chasing. I, uh, I actually got into the firearms industry and firearms space through competition shooting. So I shoot guns fast, that's what I do. I'd say my journey into competitive shooting really positioned me well for getting into hunting. Right, like if I need to shoot a black bear here tonight, I know that I can put it right through the heart at any distance that presents itself with the 300 wind mag that I'm running, right? No problem. Well, after day one, uh, we found we are grossly unprepared. Uh, I was out there in a t-shirt and it was 60 degrees and started raining on us. Overall, it was the first day. And like most, most first days, we saw some critters, happened to be whitetail, it's not whitetail season. No bears today, so um, it's hunting. Anytime I'm thinking about passions, my passions, outdoors, black bear hunting, stuff like that, I want the family involved, right? Uh, I wanna spend as much time as I can with the little ones and I wanna share my passion with the family. And so one of the neat parts about bear hunting with bait like this is every day I've got a one hour job and that gives me one hour of dedicated time with my kids, my little girls that are outdoors girls, they're in dresses uh, and they're wearing princess outfits and they're out here baiting black bears with me. Give it a good launch. Yeah. You, you wanna talk about dedicated, awesome family time? Get in the woods, right? Forget distractions, put your phone down, get out in the woods and just be together with the people that you love. Nothing, nothing is better than doing that. 
How are your hands looking? Are they greasy messes? Yeah. No, they're fine. Good job keeping them clean. Worst case scenario, don't get a black bear. I'm watching deer feed in the food plots. I'm listening to the swans, the geese, the ducks out on the pond, the woods, nature will give you perspective. And at the very least, I mean, it levels me out. It just makes me realize that the problems I'm dealing with all day long, once I get out here to the field, they're just not that big of a deal. So bear season in Minnesota is six weeks, but I do not have the luxury of hanging out with my savage people for six weeks straight chasing this black bear. So as much as we would have loved to share a harvest with you here, uh, that journey continues and uh, I'm gonna have to take care of that on my own.